Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Code's YouTube channel. Kaushal this side and I hope you guys are doing well. Today we'll be taking you through HTML URL encoding. We have been through HTML entities and cassettes in the last few videos. We have a good idea about them, right? And we know how we can use characters that are not present on the keyboard. Today we'll go through how the URL of a website actually works. So before we begin. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates on programming videos. So without any further delay, let's get started. Go on to URL encoding. Let's discuss what a URL is. URL stands for Uniform Resource Locator. A URL is used to identify a resource on the internet. Every website has a unique URL that helps us get to a specific website. For example, if we move to our browser and search here google.com. So, here you can see we have this URL of Google. This is known as the URL of Google. This is unique and it helps us get to Google. Fine. Now, whenever we fill out a form or something over the internet and click on the submit button, the data is sent to the servers through the internet. Whatever data the machine sends over the internet is done through the URL only. The URL is encoded in the form of SKI characters. We have been through SKI characters in the previous few videos, right? So there are two methods in HTML for transferring the data from the client side to the server side on the internet. The get method and the post method. We'll discuss them one by one. So let's move on to the programming part directly. And we'll first discuss the get method of transferring the data. The get method is used to send the data within the URL in the form of name value pairs. The length of the URL remains limited in this method. So let's understand this with the help of a simple example. What we'll do is we'll create a simple form here. So for that, we'll move on to a body tag and we'll write over here input type as let's say text then we'll write name so let's say the name is get space method fine now we'll close this input tag and we'll add a button using the input tag only so we'll write here input type is equals to button and that's it fine okay so we have to write here input type is equals to submit fine Save the program and we have to refresh this over the browser because I wanted to show you guys how a resource or how a URL actually looks. That's why we are not using live servers in this video. Now, you can see here we have a text box present on the browser with a submit button. Write something inside the text box and click on the submit button. So, let's say we are writing over here a name. Click on the submit button. Let me increase the size of this browser. Click on the submit button and keep an eye on the URL. You can see nothing happening over here on clicking the submit button. We haven't used the form tag yet, right? So let's give it a try first. What we'll do is we'll move back to a HTML part and we'll write here form. Now we have to cut this end tag from here and we have to paste it here. Fine. Now we have a form tag present over here. Save the program. Refresh this page on the browser and you can see we have a form now. Now, so we'll write something over here. Let's say we are writing Kaushal over here. And you can see we have something here ahead of the URL which says get plus method is equals to Kaushal. Kaushal is the value here we mentioned inside a text box. Fine. So move back to the HTML document once again. And you can see here we have this input tag with name as get space method fine so we have put a space here we did it on purpose so let's move back to a browser and you can see here in place of this space we have this plus operator fine although so the get method is the default method for transferring the data over the internet although we can mention this on the form tag so what we have to do for this is we have to move back to a HTML document and we have to write here method. Method is an attribute. So we have to write here method as get. Save it now. 
move back to the browser write something over here let's say we are writing caution again or let's change the value so we'll write here simply code click on submit increase the size of the browser and you can see it says get plus method is equals to simply code. simply code is the value right so this is how the get method actually works the output will remain the same in both cases we'll try it with some other values as well so let's say we are writing over here hello everyone fine hello space everyone click on the submit button and you can see it says hello plus everyone fine so let's try it with some operators as well now what we'll do is we'll write over here hello now we'll use the hash symbol then we'll write here everyone click enter or click the submit button you can see instead of hash we have this percent 23 fine is there any space nor any special character except the underscore this is happening because no space is allowed in the url neither any space nor any special character except the underscore character so if we try to write here any character let's say we are writing over here caution hash ampersand and underscore so we have three characters over here right click on submit and here you can see we have caution percent 23 percent 26 then we have this underscore sign fine it means that the url is encoded now all the symbols we have used in our value are now changed to some encoded values fine the get method is used to send non-secure data like strings images etc the get method is not secure because of the visibility of the data. One can easily go through the URL to find out the data from there. That's where the post method comes into play. This method is more reliable than the get method when it comes to security. In the post method, the form data is transferred in the form of URL variables, which makes the data inaccessible to any outsider. Now, this method is mainly used in forms with password and has sensitive information. Let's understand this method with the help of an example. So we'll use the same form, but we'll change the method to post here. Fine. So we'll write over here post instead of get. Save it now. Save it now. We'll move back to the browser. You can see here we still have the value as caution. We'll change the value here to let's say hello everyone save it and you can see it's not working because we haven't saved the program refresh it and we'll write something over here so let's say we are writing post method fine submit the form and here you can see it still says hello everyone fine so what we'll do is we'll use some other values as well we'll click on submit and you can see nothing is happening over here it doesn't mean that the data is not sent to the server it implies that the data is sent to the server but not visible in the url the data is sent in the form of encoded messages post the transaction so is it useful to use the post method every time because it is more secure yes it is more secure than the get method but at the same time it takes more time to include the post values in the http body so whenever you are working on any form, ensure which method you need. I hope you guys understood what URL encoding is. So that's all for this video guys. See you in another session. If you enjoyed watching this video, then do give it a thumbs up. If you have any doubts, then do let us know in the comments below. Please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Simply Thank you.